AutoSA stands for Automotive Open System Architecture. AutoSA, an overview. Organization. Project organization. Within the hierarchic organization the partners occupy different roles. The members of the executive board are representatives of the core partners at executive management level. A typical recurrence of board meetings is once a year. The executive board decides on the overall strategy and roadmap of the AutoSAR partnership. It takes office of organizational and administrative control such as the appointment and revocation of a chairman, a deputy chairman and a project leader team speaker of the AutoSAR development cooperation. The steering committee members are representatives of the core partners, which meet on a regular basis, typically every six weeks. The admission of premium partners, associate partners, development partners and attendees is one of the tasks of the committee members. The steering committee manages the public relations and defines external information content such as web release and clearance. Also, strategy and formal topics such as AutoSAR strategy management, recommendations on changes to the development agreement or annual contributions to the partners lie in the responsibility of the steering committee. The legal team members are representatives of the core partners which meet on demand. They are focusing on legal issues regarding the AutoSAR partnership, such as the AutoSAR development agreement. The project leader team typically meets every six weeks and leads the control boards and groups. Classical project management tasks such as working on project plans, financial plans and budgets, within the budget framework are done by the team. The project leader team decides on technical questions related to the AutoSAR development and provides technical information throughout the AutoSAR development cooperation. The communication team manages the communication strategy as well as the internal and external communication. The team is responsible for press releases and maintenance of the website. Also, organization and participation coordination at congresses and conferences are handled by the communication team. The AutoSAR Core Partners established the Open Source Control Board to ensure open source software compliance. The control board has to ensure that all license terms are met before an open source software can be used. All partner agreements are defined identically in terms of open source software to ensure a common understanding. For all partners the same mandatory process applies. Based on a combination of use case and license the open source control board has to provide clearance before any open source software contributions can be made to AutoSAR. There is no general whitelist. This change control board is comprised of core partners and strategic partners and targets to find consensus within the AutoSAR development. The change control board has members of all types of partners and is following the development as an ordinary CCB. The AutoSAR working groups are working on the content of the AutoSAR standard. For this reason the members are core, strategic, premium and development partners which represent the extensive knowledge and experience in the implementation relevant technical topics. The AutoSAR user groups are working on topics which are relevant for the AutoSAR community. Any partner can initiate the setup of an user group, typically together with other partners having a joint interest with respect to AutoSAR. The work is based on already released AutoSAR documents and shall be published by AutoSAR. If you want to learn more about AutoSAR and other interesting topics, go to embeddedacademy.com.